Hey guys, what is up? I'm rearranging things as I start the camera, as always. Bang's a little wonky because I didn't brush them. Well, I brushed them, I just didn't curl them. So there's the T on that. We're going to get into a Daiso Target haul. I do these all encompassing because I don't want to spend hours doing separate hauls. So, let's get into the bag of happiness. If you're new to my channel, thank you for joining me. If you're an oldie moldy, welcome back. If I said it twice, it's twice as nice because... I usually can't remember if I said my intro right when I begin the can right when I like start it. So I'm gonna arrange the lighting because it's a little wonky, it's getting overcast. I'm gonna put on the lights and then I'm gonna take everything out of the bag and then we're gonna have some fun. Grab a snack, people, it's gonna be a long one. Okay, let's get crackalackin. Haven't heard that scene in a long time. So I found some really cool stuff at Target that I've been looking for, and I'm gonna open it up, I'm gonna show you, and we're gonna get to getting. Hey guys. Okay, so first off, I got this Popcornopolis Unicorn Popcorn. I've been wanting to try this for years and years. I never have. Um, I know that you can probably find this at the 99 cent store. I don't know. I saw it at Target and I'm like, today is the day that I'm finally going to try this popcorn. I've seen it at my market last year. I've seen it around for years and years. I just never bought it. So it's the lemon and berry flavored candy coated popcorn. We're going to see how it goes. I don't know. I really want to taste it. Um, my mom was like, you've always wanted that. Why don't you just buy it and try it? And like, quit looking at it like, should I or shouldn't I? It, it's been about a year and a half, maybe. I'm like, I'm, do I only want it because it's unicorn? Probably. Uh, and I used to, back in the day, really love strawberry popcorn. There used to be, years ago when I was a kid, a place that sold gourmet popcorn. And they had fruit-flavored popcorn. And so the lemon and berry kind of intrigues me. And who knows, it might be delicious or it might be utterly toxic. We shall see. But it's been like a whole year since I've been seeing this at different places and be like, should I or shouldn't I? I don't buy everything that I see. Sometimes I just waffle and waver and like hem and haw. So I got the Universal Thread Adult Reusable Face Masks and just gray and black because they match my black t-shirts. Got out of my comfort zone and got this really pretty, I mean it's pretty, I love it. It's one, it's 50% cotton so I got an extra large and it's just this t-shirt with succulents all over. No, no, not succulents, cacti. Cacti's? Succulences? I don't know. Botanical vibe. It's a botanical vibe. It's foliage, it's greens, it's nature, it's beautiful and I love it. Then, I'm not like totally into this like you know hardcore feminism stuff but it's a black t-shirt and I really liked it and it's a medium again this is going to be like it looks really large but it's 100% cotton and my mom was like I don't like the same I'm like I kind of like it feminism is for everybody I thought it was cute it's a it's a basic black t-shirt you can't go wrong so of course I had to get it because I'm all about that then I got this really cool thing and this was $14.99. These were cheap. These were expensive. This is $12.99. These were not expensive. Um, the prices have gotten actually a little bit better. And this was $9.99. So yeah, I'm like, oh, okay, I can do that. So I got this other one. It is called Bijou Carmen. And it gives you a little history. So you're looking at this. I'll probably say this for my J to the O-U-R-N-A-L. Yes, I still journal. You think I don't, but I do. Bijou Carmen is an artist and illustrator based in Los Angeles. I live in Los Angeles. Her work glamorizes vintage style while working to create an equal future for everyone. Through editorials, books, advertising, paintings, and more, she fashions a universe filled with inspiring women, tropical plants, psychedelia, flowers, and everything chic. So I really thought this was cool. And I think I got this in a large. It's 100% cotton, so I'm going to have to be careful with this, but it looks really big. It's beautiful. They had a whole bunch of different designs. I only got the one because I thought, you know what? This looks more like me. This looks more like a Mexican-American. And I just love it. And I love the sleeves. And it's not black. It's my spring fling blouse. Because, <laughs> yeah. And then I got some peanut M&M's. I was down to nothing when it came to snacks. Like, nothing. You guys are going to see that I have a lot of snacks and sweet treats that I... I've been showing you guys, it's because I was down to the wire. My family, I've told you guys this before, my family knows that I have the sweet treats, and so they come to me, and my 
stash gets depleted rather fast. So, drinking water as always. And I got the Glitter Girls Sight for Bright Eyes. It has a camera. Oh, just look at it. Just look at it. I'm so excited for this. This is 14 inch doll accessories, but I think that it might work for my American Girl dolls. We shall see. I love the glasses. I love the little passport book. It's just really cute. Let's open this up and see what it looks like. This is so cute for props. Uh, the other day was Charlotte's birthday, and we have balloons here that I'm just going to use as decoration up in probably a, in one of my uh, pencil vases. These are so cute. I love these. These are great for props. And then this little container. It's a little book. And you can put the passport in there. So that's really cute. That's really adorable. So let's see, how does that, does that fit in there? I don't know if this fits in there. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. So you have this cute little passport thingamajigger. Oh my gosh, look at how cute that is. That's cute. I don't know if these glasses are going to fit. I don't think these will fit my American Girl doll. I was wrong. They fit. Or they don't. No, they don't fit. But that's okay, because I primarily, what I got the whole set for was the purse, the camera, the balloons, and yeah. So let me just put her down really quick. I had taken a gamble, but what I really bought it for was this. This little bag I thought was super, super cute. I absolutely love this. And I know this isn't going to fit her, but I thought it'd be really cute as just like a, you know, sit, sit it down next to her as a prop. The bag is adorable. And then it has the camera. And the camera actually goes inside the... I'm going to cut this off. Or should I? I don't know. But anyway, the camera actually goes inside of it. So let me show you this. I'm trying to like... I might actually end up cutting that ribbon off. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, the camera goes inside the bag. And I'm struggling. I had it in there just a few minutes ago. I was playing with it. Okay, and then you can close it. And there you go. Isn't that adorable? I got it as a prop. So you have this whole cute little package. That's adorable. Then the balloons, and then I don't know whatever this is. I have no idea what this is. And then you have a little postcard. So that's pretty awesome. I love that. I love it! These, I don't know what I'm going to do with. They don't fit her. That's okay. It's still a win. So let me get into all of the Daiso Japan. Daiso Japan is a $1.50 store unless marked higher. And we're just going to start off with the containers. So at the Sanrio store, these types of containers cost buku money. They cost anywhere from $12 to $20. Granted, these aren't made as well. They're like supposed to be for your facial wipes. But of course, I'm going to be using them probably for the doll's jewelry. I always need these containers. It's my melody. It's super, super cute. I absolutely love it. So these were $1.50. They're really, really cute. They're going to be for jewelry, hair stuff, just dolly stuff. And I'll just put them on my shelf and they'll just look oose. oh so cute. Ooh, but it, do, but it, do. You are just the cutest of cute. And yes, so two of those for whatever. I'm like the queen of containers and small packages. And then this one. This one I think is a soap container, but again, I think I'm going to use, actually I might use this for a soap container. I don't know. We'll see. So this looks like this. Isn't that cute? Oh yeah. This is adorable. Oh yeah. It's a soap container. So I am going to be using this as a soap container. Isn't that cute? It drains out. That is adorable. I absolutely love that. Or I could use it as a decoration. I mean, seriously, that would be cute sitting somewhere in my room. I actually might just use this as a decoration. I love it when I can find cute stuff just to throw around my room. So that's really cute. It's a soap container. Absolutely love it. So excited for that. Two little containers. Okay, we'll show you these. Okay, so I'm going to throw out some socks that I have because I like these socks. My other socks, I buy all my socks from Daiso Japan because it's $1.50 or Dollar Tree. So I'm going to be throwing out some of my older socks and replacing them with these. Love this. Love these. I know this is a little boring, but they're cute. They're still cute. 
you know, I'm all in, I'm always into fashion and cute, funky, fun finds. So, and then this. So, you know, I always get socks. I'm the queen of getting socks, and I periodically throw them out, and I like them to be cute. My whole life is, what is my whole life's goal? To make everything cute? To keep it cute, funky, fun, and fresh? Yes. So, I got two washi tapes. I am being very particular when it comes to washi tape. This is awesome possum. It's strawberries and all that goodness, because I do plan to journal. I'm going to make an 80s page for Courtney in my journal. So I got this, and it actually says 80s on there. I don't use my journal in the typical way. I use it as a creative collage um, or as an acts of mindfulness where I'll write down like five things that make me happy. Instead of focusing on the negative or just writing about my day, I like to do acts of mindfulness in my journal. So love this. So cute. Found this. This is really adorable. This is the Alice in Wonderland stationery. I could use it for stationery or... I could use it in my journal as something, as a cute little layout. Oh, I got so much candy. Lots of candy. I actually saved these for my mom. So I got high chew, strawberry, and then I got mango. So if my mom wants something sweet, she can go in my candy drawer. Yes, I have a candy drawer. It's pretty much for everyone. For me, these are actually for me. Tropical pineapple marshmallow. I love these. They are 250 they're imported, but I love these so much. These are like my addiction. And then the strawberry marshmallow, my addiction. Yes, those are delicious. Okay, so stuff that I actually needed was a new coaster because this coaster looks like it's been through hell and back. Yes, this coaster is just faded and horrible looking. So I got a new circle coaster and it looks like this so let's just open this and use it right now oh I don't know if I like the bottom of this well we'll see well and it just says fresh and tasty 100% organic so I'm gonna use that for my drink we're gonna save this one in case that one doesn't work out but this looks like it's seen better days Oof. and then in there I actually got this little container the one that I bought is too big for the space down there, and it's sticking out like a sore thumb, so I'm going to replace it with this, and it's super cute, and it's pink, and it matches my whole room. And then, what else did I get? Oh, hair clips for, hair clips for the girls, my dolls. Super cute. These are probably be for Charlotte, because they're a little more contemporary. This one is definitely for Charlotte. I love this. I want to see what this looks like. Um, what kind of a clip is it? Let me open this thing. I want to see what this looks like. Because it might not work for her hair. So if it doesn't work for her hair, I'll give it to my mom. Oh, this is going to work perfectly. Going to work perfectly for Charlotte's hair. Because, like I said, she's a little bit more contemporary. And this kind of has that little vintage vibe. So love that. Got these itty bitty hair ties. And they say that they don't pull out the hair. So I got these in multicolors because Camilla's hair is pink. So she'll need pink ties. And then the other girls have brownish blonde hair. So I got two of these. And they are the hair ties, non-tangling rubber bands. Oh, these have glitter on them. And these are just regular. So there's 100 in here. And then I got these for my dolls as well. Alligator clips. So they just go like this. Love these. Let's see what they feel like. This is why I got the containers because I'm always I always need containers for stuff like this. So these are super cute. Oh yeah, these are adorable. And I'll just be putting these away in the containers that I have down there. Oh, how do I do this? I'm not functioning. Okay. There we go. We got those. Super cute. And then I got these ones. And then that's it. That's all I got, guys. So that was kind of a really large 
haul and I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you like. I hope you have a day so Japan near you because they have lots of cute stuff if you're into dollies or you have little girl, girls. Ugh, what am I trying to say? If you have little girls, you can find really cute hair accessories for them. And that is what I've been doing, is looking for hair accessories for my dolls. Because my dolls are bringing me such joy. My parents are the coolest. They indulge me so much. They took me to the mall. Courtney went with me. She's my 1986 girl. And we did a photo shoot. The photos didn't come out that good. The lighting was really bad, so I don't think you're ever going to see those pictures. I don't think those pictures will see the light of day. But I did get some other pictures, and they actually look really, really nice. They're in my mom's garden. So you can see those on Instagram, Cute Days, which I usually link in the description down below. I'm going to put all of this stuff away. It's not a lot. I'm going to wash some, some of those um, blouses. And then I'm probably going to go color. Color or work on my journal, either or. But I am super excited for everything that I found because I always need containers. And I always need things to be put in places in a neat, organized fashion where it's not cluttering up my life. So, with that being said, I really like this. I think I'm just going to leave this somewhere in my room. Aha! Uh -huh. Or not. Okay, I found a really cute place for her. So, with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. And have a happy day, night, year, week. If I said it twice, it's twice as nice. And with that, I will see you guys later.